lived in the Cal Ripken fan my whole life. For my 21st birthday, my dad took me to Baltimore to see Cal tie and break the streak, and it was the greatest baseball experience in my life. There's the ticket for the game, he broke the streak. When they call him the Iron Man, you gotta a respect reason, him, yeah. He's the Iron Man, he's a legend. Do you know whose record I broke to, to uh, have the most grounded into double plays in, the, in a career? Hank Aaron. Hey, there you go. Cal Ripken is a name that stands for strength, character, integrity, perseverance. He is, without a doubt, a true sports giant. Ladies and gentlemen, Cal Ripken. What's your view about performance enhancing drugs in the game today? Okay, it's time to start the book signing. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is that uh, performance enhancers work, and then uh, they're in, in sport. And I always worry when that black cloud comes out and when all the attention and all the things are reported in the media, you often wonder how that trickles down to the kids. Do they think it's right or do they think it's wrong? Do they think that they have to do that in order to make it? And the answer is no. There are no shortcuts. You gotta do it uh, you know, with, the, with your own God-given ability and your hard work. And if you do, and you do make it, then it's worth something. What do you say to parents today? about the role they ought to play in inspiring their kids to give it their all because there is this thing about really developing the discipline and that balance between not overstressing kids. I think there's a big um, issue now that uh, there's a lot of pressure for kids in, uh, in this time frame and parents have the best of intentions but sometimes they're the biggest culprits of putting pressure on their kids. The expectations to do well, to do more, to to study, to learn, to do it all. And my advice to parents uh, in sports would be step back a little bit and uh, let the fun take place. The one guy that was most intimidating to me was Goose Gossage. Goose Gossage was the Hall of Famer, pitched for the Yankees. Couldn't get myself to stay in there when he was pitching. I'd go something like this. I, what you would call is stepping in the bucket. I was uh, intimidated and afraid of the ball. It's just awe-inspiring to be in the presence of someone who is truly great. And I bet that I'm speaking for everyone in this room that your achievements are awe-inspiring.